educational game has turned into dodgeball. Ah! Oh, uh, oh I caught it. That means you're out. Whoops. Uh, oh. oh, ready? Headshot. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to you. Ah, not you. Ah, oh. Ouch. You got me right where it counts. Ellie Mikam, I just received my Carter's and Oshkosh order yesterday in the mail and when I opened it up on my sheet of what I ordered, none of that is in the bag. I have a lot of girl clothes in the bag and unfortunately I don't have any girls to clothe them. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Let me go ahead and track you with an online customer service. Perfect, thank you. So I am on hold for customer service because yesterday I had got my shipment from Carter's and Oshkosh But look at all the girl clothes that came. That's not what I ordered <laughs> and We I, are not pregnant. Like I did the shipping faster so that I could have the kids as clothes here And now I'm kind of sad that they're not. I'm sure they'll get it worked out. I just received my Carter's and Oshkosh Shipment yesterday. None of the stuff in it is what I ordered. I was wondering if we could uh, work this out. Yeah, I sure will. I do apologize about that, ma'am. Thank you so much for helping. You're very welcome, ma'am. You have a good day. You have a Merry Christmas, and thank you for calling Carter. Thank you. Time. You too. Bye bye. Yay, we got it fixed. Okay, so I'm gonna send this stuff back. But this is what I ordered. So this should be here in a few days. I got a bodysuit for Calvin, jeans for Jackson, and a few shirts for the kids. Fleece pull up, that's for Jackson. That is what I ordered, so hopefully that those will be here really soon. Yay! Stinks when stuff like that happens, but we got it fixed, so we're good. There you go. Jackson has never been one to be like, I want a film, I want the camera. Calvin has from a long time. I feel like we haven't been able to show a lot of the true Calvin because when he sees the camera, he just wants it and doesn't doing what he normally does. Calvin, can you sing Jingle Bells? Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. Sing it. Okay, we've got a lot of hills. This is, we're at the top of our yard. We've got this little hill. We have another little hill. Then we have the long hill all the way down. So we're gonna go on this one. <gasps> is that cool? <laughs> Not faster. Not faster, just slow. Whoa. <laughs> all right, if you see our tracks, we have tracks all up our back of our yard. We just went down. The whole yard. Come on, kid. All right, I got you warmed up. Ready? We're going to go all the way to the top of our yard. All the way down. Okay, let's go. Okay, you hold it. Look at it in your eyes. So I just had some really awesome phone calls and I saw Ellie and Jackson out here having a blast while Calvin takes a nap. And I'm like, I can't let these guys have some fun. So Jackson, you know what? what? We're gonna have some fun together, okay? Let's go sledding! Let's go sledding! We're gonna go sledding!
Alrighty, Miss Penny. Calvin just woke up, so why don't we go get him? I think he'll be so happy to see you. Let's go get him. Hello. Here, Calvin, where's Pen? Can we kiss it? Mm -hmm. oh, that's so Can I go get Penny a kiss? <laughs> Good job. I love hearing him say it. <laughs> Hey, should we guys go out to eat? Let's go out to eat! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what is this called? Hat. Can you believe that? Did you hear him say hat? Calvin! You're talking! You say ball and hat and mom and dad. What else do you say? Say hat. Hat. Good job! You're learning new words every day. So we are going out to lunch with mom and dad because we are actually making our way over to the cemetery to visit grandpa and add some things to his headstone. So we're going to lunch before that and yes. what exactly are we putting on the headstone? Well if you look to your right. <gasps> All of these little light up things right there and these flowers. Yeah. And this wreath. Oh very cool. Awesome. Okay we'll grab a bite to eat and then we'll go visit grandpa. She's did it! She's doing it! <laughs> we are trying to get up this hill. We're, I, oh, I think we pretty much did good. Oh, wow! Yeah. Dad said I couldn't do it. <laughs> but but we me could. and Pacifica proved him wrong. Um, so snowy out there. The roads. The snow's been snowing all day, but now it's really sticking. So I bet tonight we'll get tons. All right, boys, you know the name of the game. We've got cards right here, and we've got a roll the dice ball thing, and whatever color lands on top, we have to pick, okay? Calvin has an, his own section of card uh, colors. He'll bring those back when, when, he has, when he's done with them, okay? Roll the dice and see what color lands on top. Green! Okay, pick the card from green. Oh, you wanna do blue? Oh, that just so happens that you picked blue. Okay, pick the blue one. What does it say? It says, find something purple. Can you find something purple, Jackson? <gasps> Does Calvin have something purple? There's something purple, good job. Okay, Calvin, your turn. Can you roll the dice? Throw it! Eee! Good job, that works. Okay, orange. Calvin, can you find the orange one? Let me help you. It's, it's right here. It's right here. Can you pick this card, Calvin? Pick that card. Good job. And what does it say? It says, pat your head seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you do that? Oh, it's your turn. Can you pat your head seven times first? One, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job. Okay, roll it. Green. Can you find the green cards? Here. Good job, pick one. Okay, what is what do you see on the card? A uh, mouse. Yeah, let's see what it says about the mouse. <gasps> squeak like a mouse. Can you squeak like a mouse? Squeak, squeak. Good job. Me, me, me. me. Mouse. Is that what a mouse sounds like? Mouse, mouse. Cheese, cheese, I like cheese, I'm a mouse. Mouse. <laughs> Are you cooking up some dinner? <laughs> it's my turn again. Okay, roll it one more time. Ooh. Green again. I'm gonna roll it. It's Daddy's turn. Ready? Woo! <laughs> Red. <gasps> play peekaboo. Can we play peekaboo? Yeah. Okay. Peekaboo. 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 That educational game has turned into dodgeball. Ah! Oh, oh, I caught it. That means you're out. Whoops! I <laughs> gotcha. Ah. 
<laughs> oh, ready? Headshot! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> hey, you. You holding the doggy? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Ah, not you! Ah, no. <laughs> Ouch. You got me right where it counts. Hey, you. I'm talking to you. Does it make me a bad father that all I want to do is tickle torture? <laughs> I think people like hearing you laugh, young man. <laughs> wait, wait, Jackson, Jackson, wait, wait, Calvin, wait, 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 Calvin, just a second. Tickle, 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 tickle! Tickle, tickle! Who's that funny, boys? I'm gonna get you. No! I'm gonna get you. Calvin. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna tickle you. Tickle, 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 tickle. Well, aren't these two kids just the cutest? Kevin just wrestled Jackson in the tub to get on him and kissed him. I would have filmed it, but there was too many bums. Too many bums in the air. It's just really cute seeing how playful Jackson and Calvin are, like. <laughs> Look at that! Goofy kids, they really just play together and life is just really fun right now. I just feel really good right now because Calvin's older, he's sleeping, he's, it's just really nice because he's not like, Baby Baby and Jackson's grown up. I mean, when we brought Calvin home from the hospital, Jackson was only 16 months old. So it was like having two babies. But life is just really good. And it was interesting, my friend Lauren today on Facebook, she had talked about how she has two kids. She also has a little angel baby, Logan in heaven. And she had talked about how she was baby hungry, but she kind of thinks she's crazy for being baby hungry right now. And I was like, I feel the same way. I feel like, I've got these two kids and life is good and I'm content and I'm happy and it's fun, but part of me knows that I do want more kids. I think that's another hard thing about being a parent is knowing when and timing and does it does it matter if you have three close in age? Is it better to have a gap? And all of her friends were commenting and a lot of people said, we had a gap and we loved it. And a lot of people said, we had three close and it was really hard, but we loved it. And so there's no right or wrong, but it's just really interesting. And it's something that Jared and I have talked a lot about is when would be a good time to try and have another sibling? We don't know what it's gonna be like trying to get pregnant, if it'll be really easy, if it'll be hard. For any of you guys that have more than one child, like how do you feel? Do you, are you glad that you had them close in age? Or are you glad you took a break? Anyway, these two kids have my heart and that's for sure. Okay, Mr. Talkative, say hat. Can you say grandpa? Can you say ball? Do you want to go see Papa? Uh, yeah. Say Papa. <laughs> Say Papa. <laughs> Jackson, give Grandpa a birthday kiss. Mwah. Calvin. Calvin, give Grandpa a birthday kiss. Oh. <laughs> Happy Thanks, birthday, you. Grandpa. Thank you, Jared and Ellie. <laughs> I've, I've Happy had a great birthday, birthday. Grandpa. Aww. Thank you, Jackson. <laughs> Say Papa. Something like that. He has been saying Papa all day long and has been driving me crazy. He won't do it on camera. Say Papa! <laughs> and there is dinner. It is 8.30. <laughs> Jackson never goes to bed this late. But I just got off the phone with a lot of my family members. I like called a bunch of people and then it led to the, another person and Calvin's in bed. And Jackson laid on my bed on my lap as I was on the phone as he was watching TV to get him in bed. I remember growing up always my mom would be on the phone and I'd be laying on her lap and I always remember listening and thought it was really sweet. I need to get him in bed. But all day my roast has been cooking. The kids ended up eating I think like a banana and a cookie and a glass of milk for dinner. I'm gonna try and feed Jackson just a hair before he goes to bed. But it's so yummy. I'm so excited. Homemade, homemade crock pot roast is so good. I really don't do much. I just put it in the crock pot with just a little bit of broth, like a little bouillon cube, salt and pepper, add some vegetables. So that's about it. 
So that is it for the night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much to my sweet family and my friends and you sweet viewers for being so supportive. Sometimes being in the eye, the eye of people is nerve wracking. A lot comes with it and it can be stressful, but I'm really glad that we are able to bring awareness to this in the infertility world. And I'm grateful that Jared and I are able to do something to give back. And I'm just so happy and grateful. On my channel tomorrow, it will be the cinnamon roll recipe that me and my mom did. So make sure to check that out. That'll be up on my channel. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Good night, sweet Penny. Good night, girl. <laughs>